Uh, some people hoping for sun because the staff at Lagoon Amusement Park, they have been hard at work getting the park ready for guests. I thought you were on the roller coaster getting ready to go because they <laughs> are like that for a moment. They are set to open tomorrow. Fox 13's Diego Romo spoke with them about what visitors can expect this year. Right now, the park is empty, but in less than 24 hours, Lagoon will reopen to guests with expanded park hours and a few of the same guidelines visitors saw last year. We've been preparing for this day since the day we closed on Halloween last year. We've been getting ready all winter long. We've been working really hard, and I think everybody's ready to get outside and have some fun. This comes after a year of fewer customers and a delayed start to the season due to the pandemic. Not being able to open last year on time was devastating. Freed says the park saw a 78% decrease in visitation. We think Lagoon was one of the hardest hit local businesses in Utah because we couldn't open. Um, once we did, we were only open at 15% capacity. Visitors can expect to see many of the same health safety protocols from last year. Social distancing is the name of the game. We have uh, social distance markers throughout the entire park. Guests will also need to bring masks to the park, but they will only be required where social distancing is not possible. Our employees, we will all be in masks. Uh, certain positions will be in gloves as well. We will be sanitizing regularly. The ride cycles every two hours will be stopping to do some sanitizing. High touch services will be sanitized. Freed says the park will continue to take the lead from the Davis County Health Department on what protocols will remain throughout the season. We won't change anything without first working with our partners at the health department. Lagoon has also done away with the reservation system they implemented last year to help limit park capacity. Of course, subject to change depending on what the current state health order is, but right now we don't need reservations, which is nice for our guests. So they can just decide in the morning if they want to come, they can come on down. And for those who want to enjoy the park but are concerned about crowds, Freed says spring is the best time to come. The first few weekends are generally not very busy here on the park. We're just ready to have a safe, fun time. Lagoon will be open on weekends until Memorial Day and doors will open an hour earlier at 10, giving guests more time to enjoy the rides. In Farmington, Diego Romo, Fox 13 News, Utah.